I don't know if this is going to be edible. I mean, not edible. Audible. Okay. Is it even recording? I think it is. It's been freaking forever, guys, since I made a video. Um, this morning, or like, what was it, noon, I got my wisdom teeth and a molar tooth pulled. And I wanted to make a video beforehand, but I was just in too much pain. So I didn't end up making a video beforehand. I don't know if you guys can see the little stuffed pug up there. That's a card that Ange made me for our anniversary. And then that's a drawing of Harry Potter that Ange made. Uh, I don't know. I'm just telling you what you guys are looking at in the background. Sorry, I had to straighten my legs. Uh, so... So, yeah, I got done. Um, I found an oral surgeon that was like 30 minutes away. And, uh... He was like the cheapest in my local area, and I was so terrified. I wanted to be like one of those people that takes the camcorder to the office visit, but he actually um, knocked me out completely. So basically, he didn't even tell me when I was going under. I just kind of went under, and I woke up like, and he was like, yeah, they're done. Um... For the gauze, I switched it every hour. Like, because I had all of them, like, here and here, here and here. So, you basically just hold the gauze back there until it gets, like, pinkish and not, like, actual bleeding. But, you guys, let me tell you. If you, uh, if you need to get your wisdom teeth done, the best thing I can tell you is, like, the pain of having, like, my wisdom tooth was broken, and it was, like, incredibly painful, and it's, like, now it's, like, yeah, it's a little tender, but, like, the swelling's not gonna happen probably until tomorrow, but do it, just get them taken out, because the longer you wait, the worse it gets, it's just so much better to just get them taken care of. I'm tired, and I'm still not quite processing completely properly yet, because, like, I think the anesthesia, in my opinion. I'm not sure. Here's my band-aid. From when he knocked me to... Knocked me to sleep. And this is the shirt that I wore. I figured... Well, in case he gets blood on me, I'll wear a red shirt. Which I know is kind of funny. Um. So, yeah. I came home. I, I don't, like, basically, like, I don't remember anything until... I kind of remember being in the car and drove me because I couldn't. You can't drive yourself when you're getting knocked out. I'm not even allowed to drive tomorrow. But, um, yeah, see, I'm not processing properly. I can't even think of what the heck I was going to say. Oh, I don't remember, like, apparently I got into a wheelchair and they rolled me out to my car and I, or out to Angie's car and I don't remember any of it. But that dentist was amazing, okay? Like, after, I don't know, a couple of hours ago, he calls me at home from his home. He calls me to check on me. He's like, all right, kid, are you still numb? Because I wasn't supposed to be numb by that point. And I'm like, no. My whole face was numb, which was just such a relief after, like, almost a month of being in pain. My bottom wisdom tooth back here actually broke years ago but it never hurt me until like another part of it broke and I guess it exposed the nerve and so then I was in excruciating pain and an oral surgeon can only give you so much stuff for meds so I just had to deal with the pain and I'm not gonna lie peeps I've been hitting the whiskey bottle hard and I hate it because like it's a whole different story when you're drinking because you have to Rather than when you're drinking because you want to. I don't care if I never drink whiskey again in my life. But the one thing that I can tell you is if you're getting ready to get your wisdom teeth taken out. Like having them taken out. It's honestly I'm not in that much pain. I mean I'm in pain but it's not like the pain of 
what it was before. So, I don't know. I see so many horror stories. People talking about how, oh, it was so painful. Oh, it was so hit. It's not that bad. Find a good dentist that you can trust. Find a good oral surgeon that you can trust. And, like, well, Ange told me about wellness.com. And that's how she found mine. Because I'm such, I'm so afraid of the dentist. Like, terrified. It's like a phobia. It's just, and it always has been since I was a kid. But, you know, look for a dentist or an oral surgeon with lots of good reviews. And you will be okay. I was petrified about this. I've been terrified about this ever since I, my wisdom teeth came in. But... They did the x-rays. My my roots weren't too bad. Like, he got them out. He did it in all... He pulled five teeth in 20 minutes. Wisdom teeth and then one molar. Which was broken and very painful. And it's like, now I'm just like, oh, thank you, God. So, enough about that. <laughs> You'll probably hear about it in the next couple of days. I want to start making videos again, but um, I had gotten into a negative place in my life where I wasn't really feeling so great. Um, Wasn't really feeling like I could be the Angie anything that I've presented to you guys. Not that that, not that, that person hasn't really been me, but it's a part of me. And there's more to me than the Angie anything that you were seeing in videos. The inspirational person that, you know, whatever. I mean, I still do feel like the law of attraction and and the secret are legit. And, and they work. But I also have a whole other side of me where it's like life is hard. And sometimes it sucks. And sometimes bad things happen to good people. And how do you deal with that? How, did, how does that fit into it all? By the law of attraction, um, they attracted those bad things to themselves. But I honestly refuse to believe that. So, if you're in a place in your life where something bad has happened to you or someone that you know... I feel for you and I don't even know where I'm going with this except that life's not all butterflies and gold or silver linings to clouds. Sometimes shit just sucks. But the one thing that I do know is that in time everything passes. And in time things do get better. And in time, depending on the way that you face something, you will be okay. And I don't know if this is sounding chody or if it makes sense to you, but I've found it to be true in my own life that the bad times pass. And happiness is not a destination. It's a mood. So if you choose to be happy more than you choose to be sad, then you will be. Sometimes you just want to be in a bad mood and you want to lay around and be sad. Then, you know, I guess I just, I just want you to know that I'm still here. And I'm not perfect and I'm not just the inspirational Angie, anything that I've showed you. Like, um, even when bad stuff's going on. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have made a video when I'm on pain pills. Just a thought. But you guys know what's up. You've lived long enough. You know that life is full of good and bad. And um, I may still talk about the notes from the universe. But that doesn't mean that I don't know that there's bad stuff going on in the world and that there's bad stuff that happens to people and that I'm not I'm not blind to that. I actually want to see if this is going to go past 10 minutes. I don't think it will. 
Oh, it did. Right on. Um. Anyway, I'm here. So, if you, uh, if there's anything you want to talk about, um, my videos are not just going to be notes from the universe anymore. Plan on doing a couple of dog videos. I have some ideas. And I want you guys to see a little bit more of Daisy and Pug. But, um, other than that, I would love topics for what you guys might want to talk about. Just real talk. That sounds a lot like AJ from the Beaver Bunch. I'm not trying to, like, copy anyone. I'm just saying, like, just talk to me. How have you guys been? What have you been up to? Anyway, um, odds are I'm probably going to make another video tonight. I've been missing you guys and thinking about you guys a lot, so I hope that you're all well. I hope that wherever you are, you're safe and warm and you have a loved one near you. And, um, yeah. Much love. Peep out. Didn't stop. Let's try that again. Awkward. Party of one. Much love. Peep out.